Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Thursday. It's November the 20th. Wow, I can't believe it's already Thursday. I don't know where the week's gone, but uh, anyway, one more trading day left in this week, and then we'll take a weekend off. We'll be back to do it next week, but uh, today, I, it really was an uptrend today. That's what I would call it. I mean, we, we started trending up just prior to the regular open, and we really trended up and closed on the high. We closed on almost the high of the day, just a couple of ticks. Uh, it wasn't a huge um, trend as far as points traveled, but it's definitely a fairly strong trend to the upside. Um, and it almost looks like a spike in a channel. This trend is way too strong here. Trends, a, a good healthy trend is almost is really a 45 degree angle. And even this trend was a little bit high, but. Um, we had a break of, you, you could have seen this either way, even if you saw one and didn't see the other, you were still okay, because notice we had a break right here, and that was a break of this trend, but that was also a break of this little trend channel, um, this little two-tiered channel. So either way, you got the break, the move to a new high, then you got the correction, break of it, a new low, and then you started higher again. And... Um, it was a it was a really straightforward day. The the channel down was very clear, a clear break, two legs to a new low. A very clear channel going up to here, very clear channel going up here, um, and you you know even if you didn't even if you drew this one a little bit different and you didn't have the break, but I think if you were checking off the upper side, you realize that you had to have it here to make it work. If you put it here, it just it doesn't fit there. You you know your first two swings create the trend and then your and then your third one confirms it to tell you if you got a good trend line or not. So, um, but this was real close uh, here. So um, that probably would have led you to want to buy this one, especially the way it's set up with a little break lower first and then going out the high side. It didn't go very far, but once you turn down off that line again, then you got to start wondering about that little downward trend channel. So, um, but that's what I saw. I was looking for a measured move. We didn't get it. Notice there's your first leg up and I was looking for a measured leg. We didn't quite get that. The resistance is just too high around that 250 area there. Uh, this is where I was expecting it to turn down if it was going to be a range day. Uh, but it didn't turn down there. We, we didn't go a whole lot higher than that because we're really, you know, getting up there and, new territory at 2050 you know it wasn't very long ago we were at 18 something after the big sell-off and now we're headed to 3000 so um you know anybody that tells you this market's dead done for and dead don't believe them don't believe it until you see it with your own eyes because they're just guessing because nobody knows what the market's going to do so let's talk about the trades now um the first trade i saw was a short here we came in there's actually a second entry short here, but look at all that overlap there and the dojis and stems on both sides. I just think that was too risky, uh, especially that close to the low, but it actually bounces there and then turns back down. So that's like a little breakout. This is a trading range across here and you had one break lower and then another one. And then you got that little failed move higher. Look how bearish that is. I like that one uh, to the downside. Um, Figuring you would get at least another leg like that. And I think it's pretty much a, a measured move. Let's just measure it and see. But just looking at it with the eyeball test, it's pretty close. You can see we missed it by maybe a tick or two. But I like that because that bar is so bearish. And uh, it was obvious we needed to make um, a new low. That was, But you needed a good setup. And you just didn't get it here on the second entry. But when you get that little failed break higher... Look how bullish that is. You know a lot of people were trying to pick a bottom here. And there were some reasons to think long there, if you, but but I would not never go long. We have hadn't had one break above the EMA yet. We didn't get that till here. Uh, so I like that to the short side. Uh, looking for another measured leg like that one down. Uh, there's another little pull back there, and there's a failed second entry long. But when it bounced there again, I think it was a little risky to enter. Uh, you know, I probably should draw it green because it's a failed second entry long. It's a trout. And so you might have thought about going short right there as well. Uh, and it almost closed on its low. It looks pretty bearish if it had a ticked one tick lower at the close. So um, 
I just hate going that short, that close to the low of the day. Uh, here, at least you had a few ticks to give you a head start. Here, you got one tick before that last swing low, but it is a trap. Notice the new high pullback, first entry, pullback, second entry. And there's people guessing in here, trying to guess for lows, and they usually get burned when they do that. So you might have thought about that one. Uh, I don't like it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it market green. Uh, then you get the bounce. Um, you don't want to go short there, but you don't want to go long either. And then it pulls back, and you still, now that you're above the EMA, you're probably better off just to sit. You're probably getting a reversal. It breaks lower. Your signal bar is not very good, at least not on my chart. I don't know what it looks like on yours, but look at that doji. Breaks lower, and what does it do? It traps everybody. I like just going long right there. And uh, you actually had to ride this back out, but, um, and, and what you might have done is wait on it to break higher and use a limit order. Then you, you could get in all the way back to the close of the, or where that open or closed right there. And you would have still gotten in, but uh, I think you just got to enter that with a stop because a lot of times it'll just take off. And then it pulls back again and uh, and gives a, like a little breakout pullback long setup and takes off again. Then it pulls back even yet again. And, uh, and notice those first two really give you the trend line. Actually, originally I had a, there's a little shorter term one there and I had it a little bit steeper. But once you started getting all these closes here and you draw it off those closes, as you can see, um, and you drag that down, it fits perfectly. So I like that one. And then this, these two gave you the swing and then this one confirmed it. So I really liked entering there and you can see more people jumped in finally. Then it pulls back here. This is just a first entry, not a very good signal bar. Uh, I think it's a little risky entering there after that big move up. Okay, I got interrupted there. I think we were talking about this trade. Um, yeah, this this one's a little risky. It's right off that trend line. Uh, it, you know, you wouldn't have had enough information probably to have the the spike and channel in there yet. You didn't really get that until you got the other bounce. You, you, when you got this one, you, you would have been thinking it, but it's not confirmed until it bounced here. Uh, so this one's just a little bit risky, but... You know, you still got a long way to go to get up here. It is bouncing right off the trend line. There's some traders that are going to take that trade. And uh, you can see it really shot off there. But uh, it's a little risky, so something to think about. And then we got up here and we bounced. And you can see we kind of overshot here. And that's usually, that's a, that's another, if I hadn't said this before, I'm sure I have in these videos, but if you, if you, you know, if you've been to the website and watched any of them, when you get an overshot on this side, that's a lot of times a clue that you're going to reverse because it gets overdone and then it goes the other side. So notice we got overshot. It gives that one little push. It traps everybody and then, it, then, and then it kind of goes lower and you get the break of that channel right there, that little tight channel. And then, and then just like it did up here, you get that one little push that traps everybody and it goes the other way. So I like, and notice, draw your little trend line. You got a little channel. You get a break and move to a new low and then. It's still aggressive because it's a first entry, but uh, you're looking for a new high now, and uh, and then there, then there's a possibility you got this channel. And if you draw that off those first three and drag it up, it fits perfectly. And so I would be looking for prices to try to hit this line before they reverse. They actually hit that line and kept going a good bit. And that's why you can't counter trend trade. Um, you got to be real careful about counter trend trading because it can go further than you expect. Uh, and this one certainly did. Uh, but anyway, this, this turned out to be a nice entry. And notice the little double bottom matching lows in the one tick trap. It didn't quite close on its high. Uh, you might have thought about letting it break and drop a limit order in there. Uh, but you might miss a trade like that. And that's the only problem with those limit orders. You're, you know, you'll miss some of the best trades. And this thing, once it got going, it took on off. And then notice that new low. First entry short, pullback second entry short. It fails. And um, I like that one. And at this time, I would have moved this down, too. You were getting most of your touches right across, maybe even right there. I liked it um, right there because that's kind of splitting the support and resistance over here. And you can see that. And notice we got through. Um, and then we came back, and we were trying to and it acts finally a support there. And it's like a double test of that, and it goes higher. 
but it's a failed second entry short, so it's a short trap. And so I like that to the upside. Nice trade. And I think, all oh, this is too risky. You're looking for a reversal up here. Um, and it keeps going higher, just kind of chopping up. And then you get a failed second entry long here. Uh, and notice how that fat, you don't want to go long. I just don't think you can go long there out of all that overlap. And you get that little failed second entry long and it turns down. Notice how, let me move this. Notice how little that bar is. That's a trout, a long trout. I think that's for an aggressive person, and that confirms that little trend line working down as well. Okay, I'm never going to get this finished today. But anyway, there's a trap there. Uh, you know, if you're being aggressive, you're looking for a reversal. Um, so there, with that trap there, um, you know, you might consider that one. I think it's really, really aggressive. Uh, but I like it because it's such a little bar. And, you know, I'll leave it at that. Um, sometimes I, I get really, you know, I have to really think about some of these if I took the trade especially because, I, I you know, that made me, that made me, if I thought it was a good trade and I took it, but then after the fact, I think a little more about it. Sometimes I think, you know, I probably shouldn't have, you know, marked that trade or whatever. I think it's real aggressive, but I like that trade. I'm just going to leave it at that. So, um that's a little two-legged move in the first leg, and then you're looking for another. You're actually looking for prices to come back to this line at a minimum, and that's what happens, and it breaks lower and then turns higher and goes out the high side of that bar, right? Notice how that bar holds right there, and it breaks lower, turns up, and there's plenty of room back here, but, you, but you're still in this channel too, so you got to think that, hey, we may push one more time higher. And, but it finds resistance right there and then it tries to go higher again and you get the same pattern, uh, a little failed second entry long there, except it's, it's really not the exact same pattern, but you got a failed second entry long, you go up, that's your first entry, you pull back, but notice how everything's closed and there's no doubt that trend line's valid. So even though I went long right here, I liked reversing back to the short side right there. Uh, and where does it go? Right to the low side. And it was tempting to go short here. Um, so, I mean, and, and I'd almost mark that one red. But it's a first entry. There's just one move up and it turns down. So, and and there's not a lot of room left right in here. So I didn't mark it. I, I just, it was real questionable. Um, but looking at it, you know, it's a good trade. I mean, this, it's obvious this channel's uh, very... Uh, um, it's a good sock. I mean, it's, it's a valid channel. You can see there it's holding prices nicely. And then again, you know, it pulls back and it was tempting again, but notice what happened this time. It fails and it goes higher. And that's why you got to be careful with those because, you know, this is, you know, this is more, even though we're working down here, um, you know, this is more rangy looking across here, too. There's a lot of overlap. But the real clue on this one, there's a clue here on this one that you don't have here. And I talked about it earlier. Look how we overshot the channel here. That's usually a good clue. And so that might be a reason you'd take this one, but not this one. So I hope that makes sense. And then you come up and you get your, this is the first break of this little channel here. And notice what it did here. This is what I like. It goes up tricks everybody goes higher it pulls back again and goes higher and look at that little bitty doji um it's tiny you can get it's very low risk to enter right there you're only going to lose a couple of ticks there if you're wrong um and even after that i still liked it notice it's a, it's a new low first entry short pull back second entry short you've had your break now but you're looking for prices to test a new low and quick easy scout pulls back and look how bearish that bar is just enter again because you're probably going to get that new low and, uh, and that was the last one i marked for the day it gets you into the two o'clock hour um if you were still trading you'd be looking for a reversal here and this is somewhat of a reversal pass not a perfect one and then it just goes i mean there's not much that happened after that so and this is actually you know, getting into the two o'clock hour right here. So just not much happening after that. 
but uh, again you could have seen it as a channel or a spike in a channel I think they're both correct uh, but either way you get the same you still get your break and move to a new high either way you do it um, and then you got your channel working down your break you move to a new low everything worked really move down break move to a new low um, it was, it was all, even a little short term, move down, break, new low. Everything was just picture, I mean, it was perfect price action, real easy to spot and see. Um, so it was one of those kind, it got a little different up here. Um, if you stayed with the trend, you would have been all right. Um, as long as you stayed with these trend lines, you would have been fine and followed the rules. So, but uh there's some, it's a little iffy right in here. You, you don't know if you should be going long or short. And that generally, that's a good reason to stay out. And another reason I like that long right, I mean, that short right there is, I forgot to talk about, notice that resistance across there. Um, this is like a little trading range. And I don't have the lines on there. It always helps to draw them on there. But you can see that little range across there. And so um, that's another reason to sell those. Um, it makes it may make this one a little bit different, but it's it's like a little breakout pullback short there. It went down, comes back. Uh, but the main thing is you're looking for a new low on that channel right there. So, um, and you might have even had this right here. You still kind of get the same the same thing. So, uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Not much else I can say about it. Um, pretty good trend up. And most of all of these were, you know, all you had to do was buy for the most part until you got up in here. And, and here's another clue that something different is happening. Notice how all the all the way up we're making higher lows. Uh, we made a lower low here than here. Uh, but all through up here we're making higher lows. And then suddenly you make a low here that's lower than this low, this low. And it's really pretty much a double bottom of that one. But suddenly you go that much lower. That's telling you something's changing. Uh, just kind of be on the lookout. So it just means something's changed because all the way up you're making higher lows. Same thing here. All the way up you're making higher lows. And you finally get a little correction here. Uh, but this one didn't really go much below the EMA. This one went a little bit further and then it definitely got below the EMA. So that's telling you something's changing up there. Those are just clues that go with everything else. So uh, something else to think about. But I'm going to wrap it up. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.